Hey you guys, it's Michelle aka Stunna and oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't like done a video in so long. I'm going to use some new products that I recently purchased from Glossier and Beauty Bakery. I'm especially excited for Beauty Bakery. It's a black owned brand and so I'm really, you know, happy to support. And um, I'm also going to do a kind of a like, we're going to chit chat. We're going to talk. Because I don't know if you guys are aware, and many of you probably are not, because you probably don't follow YouTube stuff probably as closely as I do. But there's been so much drama. And because of the drama, I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. But it also inspired me to use this palette that I have not used in probably years. And that is the BH Cosmetics 120 Colors Palette. I can't think of the last time I used this. Um, and I really only have it for just nostalgia reasons. Just like, you know, to bring back memories of the good times of YouTube. When YouTube wasn't so much drama. When YouTube was a fun place. It was more of a safe place, you know. And if you know what I'm talking about, you understand why I want to use this palette. It was before this things got out of hand with influencers. It was when you could trust the person that you were watching, that you know that whatever they were talking about, whatever they were raving about, whatever they said was, you know, such an awesome product was probably most likely true, that they weren't getting paid thousands of dollars to just say anything. And yeah, the way things have been going lately is just really, really crazy. So I really want to use this just to bring back like simpler times back in the YouTube days when I used to watch Julie G and Dulce Candy and Jackie Ina when she was Little Pumpkin Pie. Um, Emily Noel, who I still watch, X Sparkage, Petra Lude, uh, Michelle Fawn, Promise Fawn. Do you guys remember those days? Like it was so lit and now it's just drama and it's crazy. Let me just go ahead and get started. I know I do purple a lot, so I feel like I should do something other than purple, but I just don't know. So let me show you what this palette looks like. This is the palette where one of them comes out, one of the plates comes out, and then this is the second one. Back in the day, everybody had this. Beige Cosmetics was like everything back in the day. Like, if you didn't have BH Cosmetics, like, you was whack. Like, <laughs> and those days are over. I'm going to first start with some kind of brown shade for my transition. Okay. So, let's discuss the drama that's been going on. Let me, let me get you guys up to date. All right, so it pretty much started off with this guy named Gabby Zamora. So apparently, he's friends with Manny MUA, Laura Lee, and Nikita Dragon. So they're all friends. And recently, they posted a picture. Or, yeah, Gabby posted a picture on Twitter. They all had their middle fingers up, and they said they were just recreating Kylie Jenner's birthday picture. And then in the caption, I think it says something like, when we're doing better than you are or something like that. And it was pretty much shots fired at Jeffree Star. Mind you, I don't follow or subscribe any of these people. So, um, then he started saying a bunch of other stuff like Gabby did. He was like, oh, I can't believe people are still fans of his after the racist stuff he said, I could never or something like that. So then all of Jeffree Star's friends, I mean fans was like, okay, we'll see about that. So they started digging and all these people's um, Twitter accounts from like years and years and years ago. So then they go into Laura Lee's old tweets and that's when things got interesting. So apparently in 2000 and 2012, Laura Lee said, um, and this was like six months after the Trayvon Martin thing, after that whole situation, she said, if black people 
would pull their pants up, they could run from the cops faster. Thank me later or something like that. Something completely outrageous. And as far as I'm concerned, she's a grown woman. She was then, she is now. Six years ago was not that long. So if you thought that then, I just feel like you think that now. She also said some other crazy stuff about Asians and she said niggas in Paris. Um, I didn't know that black people could afford to get out of Compton or something. Now, allegedly those tweets are fake, but who knows the truth at this point? She deleted 32,000 tweets, so who knows what's fake and what's not. Anyway, she just said really horrible things. So she just recently um, celebrated her 5 million subscriber mark. Well, since all this happened, she's been losing, bleeding out subscribers like crazy. She has like 4.4 million subscribers um, now. She's lost every, I think almost every brand that she was working with, I think they all are done with her. Morphe, um, Ulta was about to start selling her makeup because she recently um, started selling her own brand of makeup. And so they said they're not going to sell that makeup anymore. But before that happened, she put out an apology video when she started seeing all the drama. When she started think, seeing that stuff was hitting the fan. I'm gonna use um, this, can you see? This blue color here. She did an apology video, which I will link in the description. It was a horrible, horrible apology. It was very, disingenuous um and it was awful she wasn't crying she was rubbing her eyes like she's wiping away her tears but it wasn't no tears it was bad you guys and when you see it you'll see what i'm talking about it was so fake and so phony and so that really got her in even more hot water because it's like dang you said these horrible things and you can't even give a genuine apology like are you serious right now so fast forward to this, all this drama starts spilling over into other stuff. So then people just start talking about how these beauty influencers, these giant mega stars, are just not really good people. They're using each other, they're being mean girls, they're doing this, I can't, you can't sit with us kind of mentality. They are social climbing, they're using each other. And so people started talking about that. One person in particular is this girl named Marlena and she owns Makeup Geek. So then she started talking about her story and her, as being an influencer, cause I used to watch her all the time too, I still do. She tells her story about her deal with having a bad experience with beauty influencers. And she was pretty much saying that she was supposed to do a deal, a collaboration, with an influencer who was her, like they were really good friends and everything and she trusted this girl long story short with that the girl that she trusted who she was trying to do this collaboration with bailed on her because she wanted to do deals with two other brands who she was going to make more money with so she bailed on her friend now this is where marlena messed up marlena went ahead and started like producing the product I think it was eyeshadow palette. She went ahead and started producing the product without a contract with this girl. And that was her bad. That was her fault for doing that. But so here they have all this product and no collaboration. I guess Marlena said that she lost a million dollars. So she like was mad obviously. And this person allegedly is Jaclyn Hill. You know, and then after that, there was another video that came out talking about how Marlena from Makeup Geek did someone else dirty, a smaller influencer. So it's like, geez, people, like, don't throw stones in a glass house. Like, if you know, I'm using CoverGirl Custom Cover Drops Foundation in the color N90. And I'm just going to put that in places where I would normally highlight my face. If you know yourself that you've done something not kosher, 
I suggest you be quiet. With that said, I'm glad that Marlena did come out with this uh, with this video because she spilled all kinds of tea and shed light on things that I know most people don't know about. I'm going to use Clinique Beyond Perfecting in the color 28 Clove. This is a little bit darker, so I'm going to use it on the places on my face that I would normally contour. So, um, so she spilled all kinds of tea in that video by talking about, besides, you know, the thing with Jacqueline, talking about how some influencers are demanding $60,000 for, um, to post a video on YouTube. Now that is not the norm. That is not what most influencers are charging, but that's what some of them are charging. So then this guy named Kevin James Bennett, he's, I'm pretty sure he's won an Emmy, I think, for be, um, for makeup art, for, he's a makeup artist, and I think he's won an Emmy. And so he has started posting about this whole situation. And he said, I know this is to be true, influencers charging that much because he works with brands and one of the brands he works with said, hey, we're interested in working with this influencer. So can you like reach out and see how much that would be and everything. And he did. And they gave him those same prices. They also said, we will give, we will do a video talking badly about one of your competitors for $85,000. I'm like, what? So it's like, I knew that influencers were making bank. And I knew like there's so many issues with FTC and sponsored videos and people not disclosing that your videos are um, sponsored and stuff. I knew all that stuff was going on. I did not know that people were making videos, charging that much money to talk badly about another brand. That was news to me. I was shocked. So, fast forward, James Charles, who I'm not subscribed to. I do watch some of his videos because they kind of are entertaining, but. So James Charles tweeted, oh, I've never tweeted about what KGB said. Oh, I've never heard of that. Most influencers do disclose, um, do disclose um, sponsored videos. Blah, 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 blah. All this stuff, pretty much just standing up for his people, his beauty influencer community, whatever. So then, you know, and he's like, and I'm gonna do a video on on people like him very soon. People like KGB, KJB. And I'm like, dude, do you know who Kevin James Bennett is though? Like, give me a break. Like, what is he, why would he lie about it? So, then there's another influencer named Pretty Pastel, please, I think. And then she works as a brand marketer or something like that. So she knows all this stuff, too, about what influencers are charging. Because she gets these kind of emails and rates and stuff like that from people all the time, too. And she says she's gotten those exact quotes, 60000 85000 whatever. So she knows it to be true too. And she did a video in response to James Charles saying his, you know, his tweet. It's really sad. It's very sad that people feel like they have to social climb and do all these things to get ahead. I mean, the love of money is the root of all evil and all this drama proves it. So I think I'm gonna use my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like it a lot. Now I'm going to use my Flower Setting Powder by Beauty Bakery. Yo, this powder though is bomb for real. 
Now I'm just gonna powder everywhere I use that lighter foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with this. I wanna use this anti depresso shade. It's a really pretty color. Now I'm gonna go in with this La Vida Mocha color. Tap off the excess. Uh-oh, a baby. I see a baby. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Claire, I'm busy. You can't have this, I'm busy. So the moral of this story is that if you're gonna start YouTube, start for the right reasons. Start it because you really, oh, I'm using a Becca highlighter. Use it because you just like, love to do it. You love making videos, you love creating and creating content and you love makeup or whatever channel, like whatever interests you as far as what channel you want to have. Because if you do it for trying to just get famous, you're probably going to end up in some mess. You know, kindness always wins. Because I have on this color shirt, I think I'm going to use that one. Lime green. I'm just going to put that right under here. Bless you. And I'm thinking I'm going to go in with the green, too, on the outside of that. I'm going to use Glossier Boy Brow in the color brown. I'm gonna go ahead and put a brow bone highlight. So, I didn't even talk about, you know, how crazy it is that that Laura Lee chick said that. I didn't even get into that. But I did get into it on my Facebook page if you're interested in seeing what I wrote. And the article that I posted, I use Minted Cosmetics lipstick and number Minted number five. And now I'm using Matte Cosmetics Out to Please in the center. But it was pretty absurd what she said. But um, yeah, and I think she'll probably recover though because Jeffree Star said horrible things too and he has a multi-million dollar brand. He's still working with brands. He's doing just fine. In fact, after all this drama, he's gained a whole bunch more subscribers. So she'll probably recover. It's going to take a while, but she'll probably recover. But is this all crazy how stuff happens? And I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just going to enjoy doing YouTube like I've been doing and doing videos for Facebook. Um... You know, my only purpose of doing this is because I love to do makeup. Um, it's fun. I like to edit videos. I'm a makeup artist in the Columbus, Indiana area. And, I, you know, I travel all within Indiana. And I'm just trying to get my name out there um, more. And just like, you know, that's just, that's it. I'm not in it to, like, be a millionaire. Like, if I become a millionaire because of it, great. Awesome. But I'm not doing YouTube for that reason. I'm just doing it because it's just fun. I enjoy talking about makeup. I enjoy teaching you guys stuff and teaching you guys new techniques and trying to get you guys out of your comfort zone of trying different products and different colors and different products that you would normally use. I like to tell you 
um, what products are really awesome that you need and that you should try. That's why I do it. And if everybody did that for genuine reasons, and if everyone just had kindness, and if everyone was just a little bit of a nicer person, well, this would just be a great, wonderful place, wouldn't it? So this video is super duper long, I know, but I just had a lot to say. I just wanted to get off my chest and I haven't been in front of you guys to talk in quite a while. So I'm glad that I finally did. And I hope that you guys like my rainbow look. You know, it's just giving me like happiness vibes and peace and love and you know, just. <sighs> so anyway, um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you give my page a thumbs up and go ahead and leave me a comment like this video, love this video, share this video, you know, whatever it is, I'll be happy. If you have any requests, you know, obviously let me know. If you have any questions about anything that I use today, let me know. And let me know what you think about all this drama. Like if you know what's going on with all this stuff, let me know how you feel and what you think because I'm really interested to know what everyone else thinks. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.